Okay, Jonathan Anderson of YouTube says, we constantly get calls at work to update our Google listing. Most recently, I spoke with someone who said not only they would update our listings, but they would also put us in all the phone books within 30 miles of a location. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting this a lot. Um, there are a lot of companies that do this. I guess like brand rep. My question is, what company or companies are the most effective would be worth changing to these companies? Instead of dealing with each individual directory, I think it would be cheaper but will they actually do what they say? This is an excellent question because you have to know who you're working with and if you receive a phone call rather than make the phone call, I would never, ever, ever follow through with the service without conducting my own personal Google investigation. And here's a big thing on this, and a lot of them are legitimate businesses, uh, but how do they find you? Hmm, that's a good question. They Google you? That'd be a curious one. Google Places is not hidden. You can set up your own Google listing. And it's not that difficult. Uh, so if you just go to Google Places, you can actually get your product or service or business listed right there on Google Places. And as for phone books, people still use phone books. Do you really want to invest money in making sure you're getting listed in phone books? I mean, I guess you could talk about using directories, but then you've got to start looking into the actual traffic of people who use those directories because there's a lot of old-school directory services that are still scrambling to remain relevant because at the end of the day, what really people are using is Google. If you want to get web-based um, prospecting or prospects, if you want to get web-based uh, exposure, you need to invest time and energy into making yourself relevant on Google. This means looking at a combination of a Google for, Google for local business keyword configuration and also looking at, into a um, blogging uh, based strategy because you need to get yourself indexed for whatever your profession is. That's really the best way you're going to get uh, leads. We do it at our business all the time. We have a guy who's an active blogger. He blogs about the stuff that we're doing at the shop and uh, you have to tag it with local keywords since we do local repair. And a keyword strategy is a very effective way to do this. There's a book called uh, man it was called SEO Made Simple. I don't know if it's still relevant today. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of those strategies haven't really changed. Uh, but what you really want to look into is doing a local keyword research to so making sure your business will show up on local searches. If you're a locally run business, if you're a nationwide business, then you want to look into actually uh, finding a way to get yourself niched on Google results. Because at the end of the day, that's where people are going to find you online. Um, but I would be very weary about these these auto submission tools. They rarely, if ever, actually work. Uh, because they're, remember, if it can be automated and submitted, it's probably not very high ranking on Google search anyway.